Respecting individual choices, celebrating diversity in interests and limitations. Hello everyone! Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a very important topic, respecting individual preferences and limitations. This is not just about language, but also about understanding and appreciating the diverse world we live in. Let's get started. First, it's important to know how to ask about and express interests in English. Simple questions like, what do you enjoy doing in your free time? What are your hobbies? Do you have any favorite activities? Are great ways to start a conversation. Similarly, expressing preferences can be as simple as saying, I enjoy reading. I love playing tennis. I am really into cooking. Remember, it's important to respect others' interests, even if they're different from your own. Now, let's talk about limitations. Not everyone can do everything, and that's perfectly okay. Expressing limitations can look something like this. I'm not very good at basketball. I don't have much experience with painting. I can't swim. When someone shares a limitation with you, respect it. You can respond with understanding, like, that's perfectly fine. Everyone has strengths and weaknesses. It's never too late to learn if you're interested. It's not for everyone, and that's okay. Offering suggestions or advice can be tricky, as you need to be respectful and considerate of the other person's preferences and limitations. Here's how you can do it. Have you ever tried photography? It might be a fun hobby to explore. If you're interested in learning to swim, I know a great instructor. Notice how these sentences are polite, respectful, and always leave room for the other person to say no. This shows you respect their individual preferences and limitations. Now, let's put everything into practice. Let's imagine a conversation between two friends, Alex and Sam. Alex, Sam, what do you enjoy doing in your free time? Sam, I love playing video games and reading comic books. How about you, Alex? That's interesting. I enjoy painting and hiking. Sam, I wish I could paint but I'm not very good at it. Alex, that's perfectly fine. If you ever want to try, I'd be happy to give you some tips. Notice how they respect each other's interests and limitations, making for a respectful and positive conversation. That wraps up our lesson on respecting individual preferences and limitations. Remember, the English language is a tool to communicate and understand others better. So, always respect diversity, celebrate differences and encourage empathy. I hope this video was helpful, and I look forward to seeing you in our next lesson. Happy learning!